morning, Andrea. Hi, Andrew. <laughs> How's it going? It's going well. Could you tell us a little bit about a little bit about yourself? Kind of what brought you to Miss? What your interests are in the international environmental policy field? Yeah. So I came to Miss because I was interested in studying ocean and coastal resource management. Uh, but I think the thing that really drew me here was actually the place of Monterey itself. I love going to the beach and going hiking and getting in the water. And so it was just an added benefit that Middlebury Institute was, was located in the beautiful place of Monterey and made it in total the right fit for me. Kind of tell us a little bit about what you spent your past summer here doing for your CBE Summer Fellowship. Yeah, so my CBE Summer Fellowship, uh, I spent it working in Monterey here, uh, working with NOAA National Marine Sanctuaries, their West Coast Regional Office, and the NOAA MPA Center, or Marine Protected Area Center. And I proposed a project with them to combine art learning about what people value within marine protected areas and, uh, and in doing so was able to produce some art to share with people, a snapshot, snapshot, snapshot of the different uh, marine protected areas along the west coast of the United States. So what kind of inspired you to want to combine the art and the kind of policy aspect there of the National Marine Sanctuaries? Yeah, so Actually, around a year ago, I was out snorkeling at Lover's Point in Monterey and seeing just beautiful things underwater and got home and started drawing little scientific illustrations of the things I was seeing and thought it would be so cool to share this with other people and to learn more about how other people see uh, marine life and uh, what they like about it. And so this project came from that idea and that experience I was having within the Monterey Bay National Marine Sanctuary. A little bit more about what your project was and what you did for this project. Sure. So as you can see, there are five paintings that I produced for the project, and these each represent uh, one of the five National Marine Sanctuaries along the west coast of the U.S., and they're located in California, and then there's one in Washington. So for my project, I went to each site and met with different people, uh, whether it was visitors to the marine sanctuary, researchers, um, uh, native peoples, or, or anyone else that I could really uh, talk with. I learned about how they connected to the specific sanctuary or marine place. And they explained different memories they had or what species they liked, uh, what locations they liked to go to and what activities they did. So I got to learn a little bit more about what the sanctuary was about and, and what people really valued. And you actually have, since graduating here at Miss, um, landed a job here at the Center for the Blue Economy. Can you explain to us a little bit about what you do here and kind of how you got to this job? Yeah, so I ended up graduating early in December and had the opportunity to jump on a work project that has me housed in the Center for Blue Economy, uh, but it's specifically through a program called SEARCH. It's the study of environmental Arctic change and uh, it's a program that is bringing together different Arctic scientists uh, to uh, synthesize, synthesize their work but also communicate it better with policymakers. So my job is working actually on a conference that's going to be bringing together indigenous peoples, uh, the science, science community, as well as policymakers from all levels of government. Uh, to discuss what's needed when it comes to the changing Arctic environment um, in the coming decades. So I'm supporting a lot of work on that. Awesome. Well, thank you very much. Thank you.